In today's show and tell with Tony, we get our hands, well, I should say he got his hands on a bottle of Pinot Noir that helped launch the Oregon wine industry. And it turned one family's hobby into a global brand. Check it out. Well, you may not recognize my guest today, but if you've had a glass of wine in the last, say, 40 years, <laughs> you might recognize her name. This is Anna Maria Ponzi, as in Ponzi, as in Ponzi. So, <laughs> so good to finally get a chance to uh, sit and visit with you. Thank you. Um, so what did you bring to share with us today? Well, I thought it would be fun to dive into the archives a bit. So okay. this is a 1976 Oregon Pinot Noir made by Ponzi Vineyards. This is just our second release. So we, our first vintage was 1974, of which I didn't have any to, to bring wow. to you. We, we, for some reason, we sold all of that. Uh -huh. <laughs> so Good. we can make this one. So this is 1976, just showing, um, you know, a couple years of, of making Pinot Noir in the Willamette yeah. Valley. Your family built uh, this brand from, you know, basically a, a hobby in the garage to a yeah. global brand and during that trajectory of time you were growing up you went from being yeah. a little girl to an adult so what was that like for you you know for so long i didn't really know what it was about you know yeah. it was just working with your family yeah. and and uh i guess we're gonna try to sell this thing and yeah. i you know but it was a kid it's just you kind of go along for the ride and right. you don't really know what's going on well and you mentioned we and we of course is uh, your mom and dad uh, dick and nancy and your brother and sister as well yeah. and i mean this was like truly a family business yeah in a literal sense. Do you think the brand would have been as successful if all of you hadn't been involved? It wasn't like your dad was out in the garage doing this and you were all <laughs> in another world. I mean, it really was all of you together. Absolutely, and I think that, you know, they needed us, right? My folks, they, our folks, they needed us. Um, we were their workforce for so long. <laughs> I was reading, actually, you wrote a book about your experience with that, and I was looking through that, and what kept striking me about the experience was this, this seems like so much work. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... That are, was the idea. <laughs> are, are, are people surprised that such a lovely industry really is just a lot of hard work? Well, I think it was part of why I, I wanted to write my book, too, the memoir, because I think that wine has this romance to it, right? Yeah. I think the biggest piece was that my father was trying to take home winemaking, the, but then how do you grow that, right? right? How do you how do you turn it into yeah. a commercial yeah. production um, where you can actually make a living off of it? Yeah. And I think that that, as I kind of reflect back on all these years, that that was really what he did. When you're invited to a, a get together with non-wine people, <laughs> is it assumed you're bringing the wine? Because um, I mean, yes. you know, Mary Ponzi. The answer is, <laughs> Yes, and... Um, because who would dare bring <laughs> wine if you're coming? And I'm always like, or, or when people come to my home and then they, they're intimidated to bring wine, I'm like, please bring wine and something other than Oregon yeah. Pinot. You know? <laughs> like, Surprise. Let's, let's try, me, try something else. Right, well, and then, uh, of course, you know, as you mentioned, it is a lot of hard work, and, you know, for most of us, wine is just something that we enjoy, but for you, it's a business, so mm -hmm. are you still able at this point to just sit back and enjoy a simple glass of wine for the pleasure that it is? Always. I always do. Just not from this bottle. Just, but we're gonna, we're gonna just keep this one away from okay. you. Though. All right, all right. Well, so good to visit with you thank again. You, I've wanted Tony. to do this for a long time. Thank so, you so and thank much. you for sharing all this. Of as course. Well. Don't touch I, Tony. I Don't tried. Touch. I tried. I know. So Anna Marie and I were visiting at the family's original vineyard, which is now home to Hamaker Wine. And of course, Ponzi has a newer mm -hmm. tasting room yeah. out by Shoals. Uh, but to me, this is just a great story of what can happen when you have a belief and yeah. a vision. I mean, there I was know. no expectation any of this was going to work. Wow. So I mean, amazing. amazing. What a story. And going on almost 50 years yes. since they, yeah. you yeah. know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. gives me goosebumps. Yeah. It couldn't happen to nicer people, really. Great story. Lovely, yeah, they're lovely, lovely people. Yeah. So neat to yeah. see the history. Tony, mm -hmm. thank you for sharing thank that with us. I love thank that. Thank you. Wow. Cool. All right.